When I was a little girl, I had a rag doll, all a doll I've ever owned. I grew up singing in church. I went to St. Thomas AME Zion Church in Norfolk, Virginia, and I grew up singing with my dad. So just like Tina Turner's real life story, you too grew up singing in the church. That's definitely when the music bug hit. The theater bug came a little later, around six years old. Adrienne netted her first Tony nomination in 2016 for her role as Best Featured Actress in the musical Shuffle Along, and in 2020 as Best Actress for her role as Tina Turner. Good job in the A lot of people forget that I'm singing 20 plus songs a night and between every dance number I'm doing fight choreography because of the domestic violence within her life, which is also presented in, in the show as well. So how did you train for something so physically demanding? I would jump rope, too proud Mary, to the beat of the music. My trainer would make me do it over and over again. I just tried to be as strong as I possibly could as Adrian to be the best Tina I could possibly be. And according to her mom, being the best she can be is a goal this Hampton Roads native has been shooting for since childhood. My husband would sit her in her little seat when she was an infant and he would play jazz. And we noticed that she could bounce right on rhythm. My parents are huge music fans, so I listen to everything from Bob Marley to Yolanda Adams, gospel. My husband sings, and when Adrian was little, instead of going to bed, she would lay down on the steps and listen. And so he finally told her, well, come on, since you're up anyway, he taught her one of the songs that he was preparing. And when they sung it together in church, I just bawled. I felt like she had something. And I was all about, let's get her in dance, let's get her involved, and she just blossomed. I was a hurrah player, so theater was really in my bones at that point, and I thought, what better way to continue nurturing this talent but to go to governor school and actually get the training I need to take this further in my life. And it changed my life. I learned everything I could have possibly needed to learn to be the performer I am today, I learned at governor school. I was asked to go to London to start doing a workshop for the show. I didn't even think that I would end up doing the role, really. I thought they'd hire Beyonce. And after all that rehearsal, you finally get to perform, and it's in front of Tina Turner. What was that like for you? I didn't look at her the entire presentation until I got to Proud Mary, because I thought, if I don't move forward with this project, I want to at least be able to tell my unborn children that this happened. And I looked at her, and she was smiling and singing along with me. And it was just such a special moment, because it gave me permission to just be myself and enjoy this presentation, enjoy this moment. And at the end of the presentation, I just fell at her feet and like bowed and just started crying. And she was unbelievably gracious and loving. I'm so grateful for her and she's taught me so much. I feel like I've been placed on this planet to tell the stories of our ancestors. I'm a storyteller and I'm grateful for the biographical work that I've gotten to do thus far. And I hope to do more in the future. For another view, I'm Lisa Godwin.